Hi guys and welcome back. I'm Orion Lee from Breaking Muscle here at Robot Fighting Fitness and today we are going to be going over one of the most efficient weapons that you can use, the jab. Alright guys, so the jab from here looks just like this. Right? Now, the most common mistakes that happen when throwing your jab, uh, there are a couple of them. So the first one is that when we jab, you don't roll the shoulder up and you leave the jaw exposed, okay? So you always wanna make sure that we're, we're jabbing, we're rolling the shoulder up into the bottom portion of the jab, all right? The second common mistake when jabbing is that when we extend the arm, the right hand drops, or the left hand if you're a southpaw. So this hand dra drops, once again, exposing the jaw. So you always wanna make sure that when we come in for the jab, the right hand stays high as the left shoulder rolls into the jawline and my body condenses. Okay, the third mistake that is very common uh, when throwing the jab is actually popping up or leading with the chin. A lot of people, especially if you're new to the art of uh, boxing or Muay Thai, any striking art, you'll get tall in your stance and stick your chin out when you throw. And really what you want to do is the exact opposite. As I throw the jab, I want to condense my body, staying slightly low, punching my shoulders, keep the right hand up and extend the left. <laughs> Okay, so now guys, uh, today I'm going to be showing three variations of the jab, and the first one is the standstill jab. So this is going to be commonly used as a counter strike, so I'll just be here in my stance and I'm just going to extend the punch. Alright, note when I throw the jab, the right shoulder is going to retract slightly to give me more extension. Just like so. Okay, so that is done from a standstill position. Honestly, this first jab is probably going to be used in between moving away from your opponent as a counter. So countering one of their attacking shots. The second variation is really the most common jab, and that's the step jab. So from there, I'm going to be pushing off the back leg, covering a couple inches, and extending, just like so. So pushing off the back leg, I'll step forward. Just make sure with this variation that however much distance my lead leg covers, my rear leg needs to follow, so that at the end of the jab, I'm in a nice balanced position. Just like so. Okay. There you go. All right, always making sure to retract the punching hand. And lastly, uh, one of my really favorite counter variations of the jab is the pivot jab. So, uh, I've showed this counter several times in my other videos, except that I've, I've had it be a hook as opposed to a jab. But so, from here, I'm going to step out with the left leg, turning it slightly at a 45 degree angle. From here, I'm gonna pivot my body 45 degrees as I extend the punch, just like so. This is a great combination against, uh, I'm sorry, this is a great counter strike to use against a very aggressive opponent who keeps on rushing towards you, keeps crowding you. As they come in, step out with your lead leg. As I pivot with my right, I'll extend the jab. Just like so, here, pivot out. Again, hands are up. I step out with the left leg, turning it at a 45 degree angle. I'm gonna pivot back with my right leg as I let the punch go. Uh, one thing to really remember when throwing this variation of the jab is to stay super tight on the right side. Okay? If you don't, you could really open yourself up for your opponent's left hook. That is not something that we wanna do. So, those are the three variations of the jab that I have for you. We have the standstill jab, the step jab, and then the pivot jab. Okay, if you guys have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comment section below. And um, that's all I have for you today. Thank you guys so much. I'm Orion Lee at Robot Fighting Fitness. We're here with Breaking Muscle. Thank you.